Hello and welcome back everybody. It's Complicated Relationships Reddit Stories. Hope you guys are safe and healthy. Now let's see what the story is about today. They are married for 10 years. Their relationship is international, meaning they are from different countries and have lived in different countries around the world together, including the wife's country and OP zone because of work. Ultimately, the wife cheated on him. Now, let's find out all about it in today's story. Also, if you like what I do, please give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. We both speak each other's native languages fluently. We have three-year-old twins together. Since having kids, our physical intimacy declined and she is rarely affectionate with me. I've never been unfaithful, although she often blamed me for seeing other women early in our relationship. For most of our 10 years, she didn't work or only briefly. When she did, it was jobs I found for her. I full-on created a well-paid career for her that she started five months ago. This is the longest she has worked. Even when I was off work for a period of time on disability leave for a neurological condition a few years into our marriage, years before we had kids and we spiraled deeper into debt, she didn't look for work. I earned money while mostly bedridden with a side business when I had energy. Since recovery, I continued a successful career, got us out of debt, traveled the world, etc. Not rich, but comfortable. OP found out recently that she has been texting an ex-boyfriend for months. She would message him and immediately delete her message and replies. I caught her doing something similar probably with someone else 18 months before and have long suspected, especially when she traveled to another city with a girlfriend while we were living in another country and she called his number there. That was eight years ago. She said nothing happened, just visited an old friend while there. The call was at 2 a.m. They call one another baby. One day, I was home from work with a migraine, and I saw her sending messages to him offering to send him medicine for his headache while ignoring me. She went back to her hometown to visit family for a week during a national holiday and saw him during this time. I was left home with our children. I saw her messages that she was planning to see him there. She claims that nothing physical happened, but I don't believe her because she lies and only admits to the details I tell her I have specific proof of. I told her that I wasn't comfortable with her having secret conversations with an ex-boyfriend that she's constantly deleting. She told me that sometimes he messages her, but she usually ignores it. That I might get the wrong idea, so she deletes it. She says she will stop talking to him. A few months go by and OP finds out that she's been chatting with him almost daily when they are both at work, deleting it before the day it's done. I confronted her. Same story, he messages me sometimes, we rarely talk. I told her that I knew about the daily contacts and she said, I'm lonely, I like the attention, nothing more, I don't meet him. I confronted her with the content of the messages and make it clear I know it's an emotional connection at least. She finally admits but says nothing physical took place and that she's not interested in physical relations with anyone, not just me. I ask her if she saw him when she went back home. She lied and told me no. I confronted her with evidence that they'd planned to meet. She said, yes, we did, I'm sorry. I asked if anything else happened and she said no. I don't have proof to the contrary. Prior to confronting her, she suggested I go travel for a weekend to take some time off as a reward for taking care of the kids alone for a week while she was visiting family. She didn't know I knew at the time. I tried to change which day I'd travel and she got upset, so, I grew suspicious. After I confronted her and told her about the evidence, she finally admits she is wrong and says she will stop contacting him. I recovered her messages. She told him she needed time to think about it, that it wasn't right to always carry on like this. He said, you need to think about those two? I assume he meant my twins. She said, maybe, I can't see you. You shouldn't come back here. He said, my flight is tomorrow morning. That's the day she suggested I go traveling. He asked, are you not firm on us? She then called him. OP later confronted her on this matter. She was planning to bring him to my home where my sons are? How many times had she seen him here? How many times had she seen him when she regularly went back home without me over the years? She said she wasn't planning to meet him here and that she told him not to come. That she never had met him here and that this was a recent relationship. 
conveniently, only beginning as far back as I have proof. She asked me to try to forgive her. She told me, I can see other women for my physical needs. I told her, I can't accept her seeing other men. She said she won't. I told her, I don't want to see other women. I want a committed marriage. I struggled for some time with this and decided to forgive her and give her a chance. We've been together for 10 years, after all. I owe it to her and my kids to try. I told her I'd work on forgiving her, but that if she did anything like this again, we would be finished. I then find out she's been using another chat app, downloading it as soon as we're apart, and deleting the app before she gets home. I can't see any content of what's on there. I held on to that knowledge for a couple of weeks, hoping she would stop and that maybe it was an anomaly. This behavior has continued. Now, OP confronted her about it last night. You're still talking to him, aren't you? Now you're using chat app name, downloading it when we are apart, and deleting it before we get back together. She says she's not talking to him. She uses it for private conversations with friends because she knows I have a way to read the main chat app she uses. I have no more proof and I can't get it with this app. She knows it. She could be full on with someone on there and I'd have no way of knowing so she doesn't feel the need to admit anything more than what I know. I don't believe her. I told her I want her to leave. She says if I want her to leave, she will. She didn't beg, cry, fight, or show remorse. She asked me about the kids, that I can't handle them on my own. I said that I can. I've been the far more involved parent while she barely looks up from her phone. She said they need their mommy. I told her that she should have thought of that before making these choices. The wife says she won't leave OP even if he finds another woman. That she is committed to their family. That their relationship is different but strong. She clearly has no intention of stopping what she is doing and doesn't think she is doing anything wrong. She suggests an open relationship apparently to fulfill my physical needs, but I know it's so that she can do whatever she wants guilt-free. Looking for perspective on this, I wish our relationship could be loving, warm, loyal, and equitable. In hindsight, it was never equitable, loving only as long as I provided, and perhaps perceived as loyal as long as she could hide it. I don't know what to do. It seems the logical thing would be divorce, keep my kids and move on, but love is illogical. There are also my children to consider. Should I give Open Thing a try, just to keep my marriage alive? Should I end it now? OP says he feels like an absolute fool. Here is the first update. Today I told her I won't do open relationship. I refuse to share her and I won't be shared. I finally got her to admit that she had a physical relationship with him all those years ago when she traveled to another city with a girlfriend. I told her that said girlfriend had no idea what I was talking about and that she had zero photos from said trip. That was 10 years ago. Does it matter? Actually, yes, it does. Can't you let it go? No, I will not. She says she cut off contact with him after that until this year and hasn't slept with him since. I do not believe her. I told her she needs to find somewhere else to stay. She refused briefly, then finally packed a bag and left. This isn't the end to this yet, but it is another step towards an end. Now, here is the second update. The day I asked her to leave, but before she packed her bags and left, I sent her a couple of screenshots of the conversation she had with AP after I confronted her, saying that she needed time to think and that he shouldn't come back here. There were details, such as him having a flight booked for the next day, that she denied and tried to gaslight me on because it's in my second language and she didn't know I had screenshots. I just sent him screenshots. No accompanying text. She sent me a message. I'm so sorry that I hurt you. I don't know how to make you feel better. Nothing else. She hasn't seemed to try to make me feel better or even stop the behaviors that have caused me to suffer in the first place. Now, here is the third and last update. She left yesterday evening. This afternoon, she sent a message. Thank you for everything you did for me in these 10 years. I know I am not a great wife. You deserve a better life. I love you and our sons. You're the most important things in my life. I will still be your family, whatever we decide in the future. This brought tears to my eyes. Too little, too late. No attempt to fix it. No suggestions on how to improve things. Onus has always been on me. Still is. 
Thank you for everything you did for me in these ten years. No specifics. I can't be sure what she means, but to me, I've done everything for her, and she has only ever been able to see what I hadn't performed to her satisfaction. I know I am not a great wife, and I never plan or intend to become one. You deserve a better life. She is right about one thing. I deserve a better life. I love you and our sons. This may be true on some level, but she didn't love us or respect us enough to stop cheating or consider the outcomes. Or worse, she considered this outcome and decided seeing him was worth it. You're the most important thing in my life. Demonstratively false. I will still be your family, whatever we decide in the future. This is the one line that felt deepest into my heart. I wanted to grow old together. I always expected we'd be decrepit, elderly couple holding hands as we shuffled to the kitchen for tea together. She stole that future from us. Before I end my story, let me say that divorce is the most probable outcome. I have the papers almost ready. I aim for just a clean cut. I keep the kids, and she gets to leave. It's done. End of the story. Well, Lopi, wow, just wow. A P needs to be knocked out. As for your wife, don't even think of staying. She has been doing this for years. Get S T D tested immediately, and with all the running around, don't believe what she says about not doing anything. Next thing, I suggest you start talking to a lawyer and sort out the finances, home, and anything that ties to her. It's all her fault, not yours. You are not a fool. Just get things order for you and the kids. Leave her and never look back. I wish you all the best. Thank you all for listening. Please like, comment, and share the video if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when we upload the next video. Take care.